Sagar Prajapati and in this video I will be talking about how can we use a copy activity in area okay so in order to do a copy activity we need two things a server and the files so I will be creating a blob storage as a server and then I will copy that file from one server to the another server okay so let me go to the portal.azure.com and here you can see a azure i mean storage account option over here okay if i click on this then you can see right now we do not have anything present here we do not have any storage account in our subscription so i will click on this create button and then it will ask me some details okay it is taking some time uh, okay it is loading now yeah so this is the subscription and the resource group and here i have to pass the name so i will write here blob blob geek orders and the region will be east us only i will choose the standard one and redundancy i will i will choose a geo redundant one okay right now you can skip this part i will tell you what does it mean so let me review plus create button let me click on review plus create button and it is taking some time since it is validating so validation is passed so let me click on create button now so it will take some time for two i mean 10 to 20 seconds to complete the process uh okay let it be so see i have created dummy file in my local system with the name testing underscore three and likewise i have multiple files present here like testing underscore three testing underscore two and testing okay these three files i have it and i will store these three files into the source location mm, okay so if i go to again to the portal at storage account let me refresh it let me do a hard refresh Okay, it is loading. Let it be. I guess my net is slow. Okay, it is present here. Blog geek coders. Okay, if I open this now here, you can see we have a multiple option over here like file share, queues, table, and container. So first, I will create a container. Okay, and if I want to create a container, go to this button, and then go to this plus button, and I will create two containers here. One is uh, one is source, and second one is sync source is done and now i will create a sync button sync, uh, sync container so it is also done so what i will do i will upload that those three files into the source folder and i will try to upload these files uh, you know these files from source to sync okay open it upload it upload it okay mm. Okay, that's done. Okay, it is done, right? Okay, now we have a file in the source container, but we do not have a file in the sync folder. So what we have to do? So the question is, we have to copy these files from the source location to the sync location using ADF. Okay. So in order to do that, I will open the ADF and I will start creating a pipeline. So I will go to this pipeline option, create a new pipeline, give a name like copy, uh, copy data. Okay. And then I will go to this activities pane and then I can choose this copy data activity. Here you can see in the general option, in the general button, in the general tab, I have a cop name and then i have a description timeout retry retry interval second secure output and secure input we have a source option here i have to pass the source server 
details or data set details here we have to pass the sync server and data set details then we have a mapping option over here setting option over here and the user property so let me uh, go through the uh, source option over here so see uh, now this is the blob okay this is a container and this is kind of source okay kind of server we can say we can assume this is kind of server and this is another server i want to copy the data from this for server to the this server okay in order to connect with the server we have to create a link service first okay so in order to create a link service i will go to this option link service check for blob and then i will hide it continue okay uh, connect by integration runtime i will tell you later in the uh, later video what does it do what does it mean and what does it do okay authentication type is key connection is string Azure subscription this one storage account is blob key coders this is done and if i do a test connection it should pass okay that's done oh sorry okay that is azure blob storage one I cannot change the name later on so what i will do i will change i will create a new one for the sync part so okay and do everything is same as your first subscription account name blog decoders and do a test connection first to check whether uh, you know connection is uh, correct or not so if i do a create i will if i click on create button then we have now we have two uh now we have two uh link service okay now what i will do i will go to this uh, activity right and i will choose this source and here right now we do not have any data set since we do not have like we haven't created a data set till now so what i will do i will click on this button and i will choose the blob storage okay and then in blob we can store multiple kind of files right we can store the csv excel avro binary json and so on so i have since i have uh, i have loaded csv files and i have to copy csv files only i will choose here copy uh, csv format okay i will choose here blob storage one and click on okay in sync option also i will choose okay in sync option i will choose this azure blob storage and here also i will choose this and click on okay choose the link service that is second one and click on ok do ok not do a publish now go to sync button see right now i have a three files present here i have to copy these three files into the source into the sync location so first task first option is that i can get these copy data activity three times and then i can uh, perform the uh, operation but this is not recommendable but i will tell you how can we do a single single uh, way okay single with a single single file so if i open this and go to browse go to sync take first one and copy it and then go again to the sync part open this browse sync and done okay and then do a publish it is publishing so see we have three uh, we have three files so we like suppose right now we have a three files so we can create a multiple activities three multi, three copy activity we can get it for an example if we have a hundred files over here so will you create three will you create hundred uh, copy data activity no right so we have to figure out in some other way so we will see how does we do it so let it be it is deploying so i will do a debug now let's see see right now i do not have anything in the sync folder if i click on this i do not have anything let it run it's done so if i refresh it now i have a testing.csv file present here okay so that is done mm -hmm. that is done but our task is to copy all three files not a single file right so what i will do here i will create a i will take this for each activity and cut this paste inside inside the activity okay that's done now here what i will do i will pass the array one by one 
so here we have an option of parameter click on new and then file and then i will choose here i will choose here array option okay and i will pass the name of the uh, file so let's say i will write here testing.csv uh, comma testing underscore two dot csv and then testing underscore three dot csv okay that's done and if i click on for each activity i have to pass something in the settings so sequential if you want to run this activity in a sequential way one by one then i have to click on this if if i want to run it manually i mean in a parallel way then i i should not check on this box i will write here three counts so three parallel jobs should run and in the items i have to click on add dynamic content go to this parameter option and then we can see this option okay and then go to this uh, copy activity present here in the source side i have to choose wild uh, file path and here i have to click on this and then i can choose a current item okay one by one it will go and check and uh, i mean check the path and then it will uh, dump the data into the source sync location so go to here if i go to here this is sync only right okay that's done and what i will do i will publish it there is something a parameter should be a valid array what happens something is wrong okay that's done close it publish all So it's done I guess done right no it's loading <sighs> okay now it is done so if I click on debug okay then you can say three copy activity will will be in parallel okay if I refresh it it will not take more than 10 seconds yeah that's done if i go to this sync folder then you can see we will have the three files present over here okay if i refresh it see the timing also you can see the same timing and now see what we have done we have run that file that uh, copy that uh, pipeline in a sequential in a parallel way right so now i will try to run in a sequential way so if i publish it if i publish it then it will run one by one okay it will run one by one so i will uh, show you so it is done it is deploying wait a minute done if i do a debug now then you can see then you can see only one copy activity is pop up now i mean it's triggered now and once it is done then only second activity will comes up okay like that so if i open this copy activity you can see we have a multiple option this mapping option over here okay we have a setting option over here and then these are user to user property so i will tell you one by one what does it mean because since this is a basic video i have created so moving forward i will tell you so in source also we have an option of skip line count okay if you want to choose a column then we can choose a column also a specific column will be uh, will be uh, will be dump okay in the sync option also we have uh, uh, okay if i open this then you can see here if you want to column denominator then we can use a row denominator we can use an encoding backslash these on first if you want to skip then we can skip first row as a header right those things we can do it so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you have liked the video if you do do subscribe and share to uh, share my videos to your friends so that everyone will get benefited and yeah thanks a lot